What's Gucci squad? What's Gucci family? Young Don Mega, and I'm back at y'all with another story time, man. Today I'm gonna be talking about a crazy time, man. I was in Allentown at this time, deep in the city, I would say hood area, man. And my people who came up there and visited can agree too. I'm not gonna get into too much of it, but yeah, I ain't even gonna say nothing, bro. But yeah, it was it was a crazy place. I I ain't even gonna say the exact location, but it was a part of Allentown. You feel me? And it was a it was a it was a nice day in general. But me and my friends were on the good timing, bro. We weren't on to nothing bad. We were going around drinking our four locals. I won't lie to y'all at all. Just drinking, getting a little drunk, walking around, smoking, you know. And I won't lie, at the time we were trapping. You know what I'm saying? So. We're walking around trying to do business, but also talk to our friends and talk to our people. You know what I mean? Like, we're just being regular, bro. We're talking around. And then this one bold old head we know walks up to us. Crazy old head, man. Walks up to us and he's talking his shit like he always do because he's a drunk, bro. Like, he he was on crack and a whole lot of other stuff we would come to find out later in the future. But bottom line, bro... This man came over to us high and just drunk as shit, talking his shit to us and like not no bullshit at first, but my friend, I'm not going to say his name, I'll, I'll use his uh his nickname, his street name, I guess you could say you could call, I'll use his nickname as he used to call himself, Kairu, it's not his real name, but Kairu had asked him, he's like, yo, I got atheists for 25, bro literally just said that literally just said those words nothing else and the man responded with what i'll slit your fucking throat instantly i walked down the stairs we was at we was on a little stoop i was like what the fuck did you just say i was like no what the fuck did you just say to him i was like no what the fuck did you just say and whole time kairu's just standing there staring at him like what what he's saying what i'm like nah what the fuck did you just say and whole time i'm walking closer i'm getting closer to him and this bull is just looking at me all buggy eyed that's how i also knew he was high as shit bro and also coming to find out in the future that that man was on crack and all different types of shit it makes sense but he was just looking at me all buggy eyed not saying or doing shit i'm just tweaking on this bull like yo what the fuck are you talking about like don't fucking talk the bull like that what the fuck are you saying like I'm really tweaking. I'm going in, in, in on this, boy. I'm not going to lie to y'all at all, bro. And we get to arguing, 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 bro, because he starts talking this shit back, his drunk slurring shit. He's like, oh, fuck you. I'm like, what? I'm like, no, fuck you. And then we really start getting hype. And then my stepbrother come down, hold me back a little bit and shit. And I'm like, all right, bet. I'm like, nah, all right, bet, bet. And we start walking back to our house, which isn't far from his either. He starts following us down back to our house, still yelling and mumbling shit, not even speaking English or any language. He's just speaking gibberish because he's high as shit, following us back down to our house. And I'm like, yo, if you come in front of my house or near my house, you're getting fucked up. You're done. You're getting fucked up. And he keeps walking down. He keeps walking down at this point. We're about halfway up my stairs. I go inside, run up the stairs. I'm like, yo, pop, yo, yo. I'm like, yo, this dude's fucking with his baba. He's like, leave him alone, leave him alone. What, yo? Yeah, my dad's going to tell me leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Stay in. He's going to stay inside. I'm like, no. I'll go right back outside because Kairu and my stepbrother's still out there. I go running right out that joint. I'm out there. This man's about halfway up our stairs. And they're not doing shit but talking to him. Not nicely, but just talking to him. No. So now I'm going to enforce some real energy. And I immediately knew I had to press the issue. So I'm walking up on Bull. And I'm like, get the fuck down the stairs. Get the fuck down the stairs. I'm walking up on him. He's walking backwards. He's slowly walking backwards. He gets to the bottom of the stairs. And he's staring at me face to face. And then he starts taking a couple steps forward. And I get in his face. And I'm like, what? what do something and i'm ready to swing at him i'm ready to swing i'm like what do something do something 
do something. And then I start walking away. I'm trying to calm myself down. I turn around. I know what the hell is going to happen if I touch this old man. I'm going to break his jaw. He's tweaked the fuck out, bugged out on something. And I'm damn near at the point where I'm ready to kill him. So I need to walk back. I'm trying to chill. I'm also drunk as shit. So I'm having intrusive thoughts. I'm thinking about doing anything about something. I ain't even going to get into what I was thinking. But I was going to do something bad to him, man. For real, for real. Like I said, I was thinking about damn near killing this man. Bro. I'm walking back, my stepbrother and Kairu is walking back with me, being like, chill, chill. And then this man is next to my stairs, and he says, fuck you, again, from the bottom of my stairs in front of my crib, bro. And he's slowly walking down towards us, and my stepbrother out of nowhere just goes up to a stop sign and punches the fuck out of it. I never seen him punch some shit this hard in his life. He punches the fuck out of a stop sign. And we all just start running at this bull. We literally all just start running at him. We all start running at him. And this bull starts backing up, backstepping again, backstep. And we're like, what the fuck? He's backing up and he's, hey, this time he's moving weird as shit. Bro, immediately the second that we all run up on him, I swear he just drops on the ground and starts rolling around. Like, he just starts rolling around, like, back and left, on back and left on the fucking cement, bro, on the sidewalk. He keeps rolling around, rolling around, rolling around, like a fucking rolling pin, man. Rolling around like a rolling pin on the ground. And then he gets back up on some shit after a little bit of laying there, bro. And then he's back to talking shit again. He's like, oh, fuck you, I love you. Like, he's talking dumb shit. And he starts saying, I love you, no, fuck you. Like, bro, what the fuck was he on? And I'm like, back the fuck up. I'm like, go home now. Go home now, because now I'm tight. Now I'm like, no, it's it's done now. And then he walks up on me again, and I push him right into the fucking ground, family. Right into the cement, bro. Right into the cement. And next thing you know, the back of this man's head is bleeding. My neighbors come running out because I pushed them into his fucking cement right in front of my neighbor's crib. So... My neighbors come running out, and they're like, what the hell, what the hell, not in front of my house, not in front. Like, they start tweaking on me a little bit, but they also understand the situation because they could hear it ongoing the whole time. It was a loud-ass situation, y'all. But, yeah, and then this man tries to start getting up slow as fuck, tries to start dusting himself off like he damn near forgot what the fuck happened. So I'm pretty sure I sobered his ass up real fucking quick. I mean, that would be sobering to anybody getting pushed onto the fucking ground. I just walk back up into my crib because at this point, my neighbors are literally helping him up. So I fucked his back up and I fucked his knee up, I found out later on. But he ended up leaving, going back to his house. And yeah, family, I ended up finding out I had fucked his body up a little bit from that, which looking back on it now, I would not have went about that at that situation at all. Honestly, the second he threatened at all, I would have punched him in his face nowadays because the hell that's a death threat man but bottom line family much love to y'all young dame out